go ahead and reveal the dirty little secret that the Globe Earth proponents don't want you to know about. The fact is, is that they want you to believe that Flat Earth cannot be used to make any kind of predictions or calculations whatsoever, but nothing can be further for the truth, as I will demonstrate here. Now, for most of known history, the sailors and navigators of the world have actually used this one little device to successfully calculate distances, measure angles, that way they could successfully travel the ocean waters and make it back without running out of rations and starving to death. So, uh, it's safe to say that it is a fairly accurate tool for measuring distances. And let's go ahead and see how it works. Hi there. Today we're going to talk about vertical sextant angles. A vertical sextant angle is the angle that's created between an elevated object and the horizon. And you can use it to determine your distance from that object and thus create a position line indicating where you are. So here we go. So to demonstrate how a sextant works, we'll have a look at this image of the coastline. The sextant works by taking the top of this lighthouse and moving it through a series of mirrors down onto the horizon here and then measuring the angle that you get as a result of doing that. And so if you look through a sextant, it'll look something like this. You'll see the lighthouse superimposed over the horizon. And then on a scale on the sextant, you'll be able to read off the angle. So that's how we get a vertical sextant angle. So here we have a lighthouse that's sitting on a hill. And we determine that the angle of that lighthouse from the horizon or from the shoreline is 28 degrees. Using calculations or using a lookup table, we can get a line of positions that we possibly could be known as a position line, and that's this arc around here. Now I've talked about position lines in a previous video, and I'll link that video down below if you want to have a look at them. Now I should warn you that this section contains mathematics. You have been warned. So to determine your position, and in this case we're going to use metres, we're going to use metres for the height and metres for the distance, you can do it mathematically quite simply. The distance from the lighthouse is the height divided by the distance equals the tangent of the angle. So in other words, tan 28 equals 155 divided by d. If you do your mathematics and spin that around, the distance out from this lighthouse is 155, which is the height, divided by the tangent of that angle 28. In this case, it gives you a distance of 291 meters. So distance equals 291, and on your chart, you can draw a distance of 291 meters. Now that's all well and good, if you're operating in meters, but most charts that I know of operate in nautical miles. And so you either have to convert that to nautical miles by dividing it by 1.852, or you have to do it another way. Another way you can do it is by using uh, another formula. It works out to, with a similar answer. It's not exactly the same, but the answer works out similar and is close enough. And that is, that the distance in nautical miles is the height in meters multiplied by 1.854 divided by the angle in minutes. So that is 155 multiplied by 1.854 and then all of that is divided by 28 degrees times 60 minutes in a degree. And with that, we have one more globe proof destroyed, or do we? This brings me to my last call to action to the truth community. I'd like to go ahead and call to anybody who lives in the area of the Black Swan Observation. If you can get your hands on a sextant and actually see if you're about measuring that angle so we can make a real-time, real-world application to prove that we can, in fact, measure these distances. It really seems like a mute point because sailors have been doing it for hundreds of years, but I feel like this will just be a little extra nail in the coffin, so I'd appreciate your help with that. Until next time, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't had a chance already, and everybody be safe out there.